Plunging almost seven miles into the Western Pacific Ocean, the Mariana Trench is our planet's deepest oceanic abyss. But even in its seemingly inhospitable depths, life is still able to thrive, thanks to the most incredible of adaptations. So come with me as we travel down into the darkness and discover the marine empires of the Mariana Trench. Vampire squid is a particularly haunting deep sea creature, whose Latin name literally translates to the vampire squid from hell. Dwelling at depths ranging from 2,000 to 3,000 feet, one of the most striking features of the vampire squid is its appearance. It boasts a dark, velvety, reddish-black coloration, large eyes that appear red or blue depending on the lighting, and webbing that connects its eight arms, giving it a cloak-like appearance. This amazing cloak is where its vampiric name originates. When threatened, it can invert this cloak, effectively turning itself inside out to display large spines, as well as ejecting a cloud of bioluminescent mucus, further confusing potential predators. The vampire squid has other stunning bioluminescent capabilities. Light-producing organs located all over its body can produce flashes, which may be used to deter predators or communicate with others of its kind. Despite its name, the vampire squid is not a bloodsucker. It's not even a predator. In fact, it feeds primarily on marine snow, which is a mix of detritus, dead plankton, fecal matter, and other organic materials that fall from the upper layers of the ocean. Using two long appendages, which can be retracted and extended, the squid captures these particles, creating sticky mucus-covered balls to consume them. The vampire squid's reproductive habits and lifespan are not yet well understood, but it's believed that females store sperm from multiple males and can control when to fertilise their eggs, ensuring the very best chances of their offspring's survival. Interestingly, whilst it shares features with both squid and octopus, it actually belongs to its own order, Vampiroma feeder due to its unique characteristics and evolutionary lineage. The Barrelive fish boasts features that seem more alien than Earth-like. Only discovered in the 1930s, it wasn't until recent years, with the advent of modern deep-sea submersibles, that researchers were able to study this fish in its natural habitat. This fish dwells at depths ranging between 2,000 and 3,000 feet, though some reports indicate they may venture even deeper. What immediately sets the Barrelive fish apart from other deep sea creatures is its transparent, dome-shaped head. This see-through cranium allows for an unobstructed view from its upwards facing eyes. These eyes are encased within the transparent dome and are incredibly light sensitive, making them adept at capturing the faintest glimmers of potential food above. Whilst these eyes are usually fixed in an upwards gaze, they can rotate to face forward when the fish is feeding. It's believed the barrel live fish's diet mainly consists of zooplankton, which has already been captured within the tentacles of siphonophores. The fish then uses its small mouth to snatch the zooplankton from the siphonophore, with the dome over its eyes protecting it from any stinging tentacles. Whilst its pectoral fins, located behind the transparent dome, help it remain steady in the water. Another captivating aspect of this incredible fish is its greenish pigments surrounding the eyes. These pigments help filter out the ambient sunlight from above, honing its focus on the bioluminescent signals of potential food. In a world devoid of light, this ghostly fish has developed unparalleled adaptations that not only allow it to survive, but to excel as a specialised scavenger. Comb jellies are possibly the most captivating range of marine animals, known for their shimmering, rainbow-coloured displays as they glide gracefully through the water. Despite their resemblance to jellyfish, comb jellies belong to a separate classification called Tanophora, and can be found all the way from the surface to depths reaching 30,000 feet, which is deeper than Mount Everest is tall. One of the defining features of comb jellies is the presence of ciliary combs, rows of cilia that beat in a coordinated manner, allowing the creature to move. As these cilia move, they refract light, creating a breathtaking display of iridescent colours. This light show isn't bioluminescence, 
but is simply the scattering of light, much like how a prism works. However, many comb jellies do possess bioluminescent abilities. When disturbed, some can produce a blue or green light. This bioluminescence is thought to act as a defence mechanism, startling or deterring potential predators. While some comb jellies are themselves predators that consume small marine animals, including zooplankton and even other comb jellies, others feed on microscopic planktonic organisms. When it comes to reproduction, comb jellies are hermaphroditic, meaning each individual has both male and female reproductive organs. They can release both eggs and sperm into the water where external fertilisation takes place. Their delicate nature, combined with their ability to produce both refracted light displays and bioluminescence, makes them one of the ocean's most ethereal residents. This rather unattractive shark seems as if it swum straight out of ancient times, and in many ways, it has. The goblin shark represents a lineage around 125 million years old. Found at depths from 900 to over 4,000 feet, one of the goblin shark's most notable features is his extendable jaw, which can snap forward to catch prey. This adaptation, known as slingshot feeding, allows the shark to ambush its prey with staggering speed. When not in use, the jaw recedes, giving the shark its characteristically long, flattened snout. This snout is packed with electrosensitive organs that help detect the minute electrical fields generated by other marine animals, aiding in hunting in the light-deprived depths. Its slender, flabby body and small fins suggest that it's not a fast swimmer, relying more on the element of surprise and its extendable jaws to capture prey. Another distinctive feature of the goblin shark is its coloration. Unlike many other sharks, the goblin shark possesses a pinkish grey hue. This unusual colour results from the visibility of its blood vessels beneath a translucent layer of skin combined with the absence of the dense pigmentation commonly found in other shark species. Much of its life, including reproductive behaviours, remains a mystery to scientists. Encounters with this shark are rare, and as such, every sighting brings valuable insights into its biology and ecology. The goblin shark is a living relic, a window into the ancient seas from which modern sharks evolved. Its unique features and adaptations serve as a testament to the incredible diversity of life that exists in the deep, hidden corners of our oceans. The telescope octopus is not only rare, but also incredibly unique, both in appearance and behaviour, making it one of the deep sea's most interesting subjects of study. This octopus generally resides at depths of around 6,500 to 10,000 feet, the name Telescope Octopus stems from its unusual protruding eyes, which are reminiscent of telescopes. This distinctive eye shape allows the octopus to scan the waters above for silhouettes of potential prey or predators. Another distinctive feature is its almost completely transparent body, giving it an ethereal, ghost-like appearance. This translucency provides an excellent camouflage in the mid-water column, rendering it nearly invisible to potential predators. Unlike most octopus which live close to the sea floor, the telescope octopus is almost always seen drifting in the open water. It achieves this by extending its webbed arms, which are held in a unique bell-shaped position. This posture allows the octopus to drift and hover, similar to a jellyfish, moving gracefully through the water. The hunting methods, reproductive behaviours, lifespan, and many other aspects of its biology remain shrouded in mystery, primarily due to the challenging nature of studying creatures in a deep sea environment. As such, every sighting of this octopus provides invaluable new insights, reminding us there is still so much to learn about our planet's oceans. Zombie worms, also known as Ocidax worms, can be found in deep sea environments worldwide, including the Mariana Trench. Typically at depths ranging from 1,000 to 10,000 feet, what truly sets them apart is their appetite for bones. First discovered in 2002 on the decaying carcass of a grey whale, the name zombie aptly illustrates their preference for consuming dead and decaying matter. 
particularly the bones of dead marine animals. Rather than having a mouth or gut, these worms secrete acidic compounds that break down bones allowing them to extract collagen and lipids which serve as nourishment. The manner in which they consume these bones is fascinating. They use root-like structures that penetrate the bone, dissolving it and drawing out the nutrients. This process is facilitated by symbiotic bacteria within the worms, which aid in breaking down the bone. Sexual dimorphism in zombie worms is extreme. Females grow to be much larger and are the primary bone digesters. Males, on the other hand, are tiny often existing in vast numbers within a single female, leading an almost parasitic existence. They reside inside the gelatinous tube that encases the female, depending entirely on her for survival, and in return, their primary function is to fertilise the female's eggs. The discovery of zombie worms not only expanded our understanding of deep sea ecosystems, but also shed light on the mechanisms of nutrient recycling in these environments. By consuming bones, these worms play a vital role in breaking down and recycling nutrients in the deep sea, where every bit of organic matter is valuable. The sea devil anglerfish is a creature that seems to have been drawn from the pages of a dark fairy tale. Recognisable by its ominous lure and gaping mouth, this deep sea fish is a prime example of nature's ingenuity in adapting to extreme environments. The sea devil anglerfish can be found at impressive depths ranging from 6,600 to over 13,000 feet. At these profound depths, food is scarce. A predominant feature of this fish is its bioluminescent lure, which dangles in front of its head. This lure contains bacteria that produce a soft, glowing light. In the pitch black abyss, this light acts as a beacon, attracting curious prey. Once the prey is close enough, the anglerfish's powerful jaws, equipped with long, needle-like teeth, snap shut, ensnaring its meal. This adaptation is vital in an environment where every hunting opportunity counts. Like zombie worms, sexual dimorphism is extreme in this species. The females are significantly larger and are the ones that possess the iconic lures. Males, on the other hand, are much smaller and lead a parasitic life. Once they find a female, they latch onto her, eventually fusing with her body and relying on her for sustenance. Over time, they become a simple appendage, serving only to provide sperm for reproduction. The anglerfish's diet consists mainly of small fish and various crustaceans that venture too close to its glowing lure. The sea devil anglerfish stands as an emblem of the deep sea's eerie beauty and mystery. Its bizarre appearance and unique adaptations highlight the lengths to which evolution can go to ensure survival even in the harshest of conditions. If there's any creature in the Mariana Trench which treads the finest line between haunting and adorable, then it has to be the Dumbo octopus. Drawing its name from the two large ear-like fins located on its head, these fins give the Dumbo octopus its most distinctive feature and aid in its movement through the depths of the ocean. These octopus are found at impressive depths ranging from 1,300 to 13,000 feet with some reports even indicating sightings at 23,000 feet. Given the sparse nature of the deep sea environment, the Dumbo octopus has evolved to eat a varied diet, consisting primarily of a wide array of crustaceans and bristle worms. This octopus uses a method of ambush, relying on its ability to camouflage and blend into its surroundings. When prey is detected, it pounces, using its webbed tentacles to trap its food. One of the standout features of the Dumbo octopus, apart from its large fins, is its method of reproduction. The species practices what's known as continuous breeding. This means females can store sperm for prolonged periods and lay eggs whenever the conditions are optimal, thus ensuring a greater chance of survival for their offspring. One other notable point is their absence of an ink sac. Most octopus eject ink as a defence mechanism when threatened, however, in the dark depths of the Mariana Trench, this feature is unnecessary and has hence been discarded through evolution. In the inky darkness of the oceanic abyss, the deep sea dragonfish emerges as one of the most fearsome looking predators of the deep. 
the deep sea dragonfish is known to reside at depths between 6,500 to more than 16,000 feet. Bioluminescence is a significant feature of the dragonfish. This self-produced light arises from specialised organs which are distributed along its body. The purpose of these glowing spots is twofold. Firstly, they help in attracting prey, acting like a lure in the darkness. Secondly, they play a role in camouflaging the fish from any predators that might be lurking below by breaking up its silhouette when viewed from beneath. Their diet is a varied assortment of whatever they can snatch up in the nutrient-scarce depths, smaller fish, crustaceans and other deep-sea creatures. Their formidable set of razor-sharp teeth, which can be seen even when their mouths are closed, allows them to grab and securely hold onto their prey. One of the most unique features of some species of dragonfish is the presence of a long barbel attached to their lower jaw, which dangles a bioluminescent tip, attracting curious prey. Some species also have a special protein in their eyes, allowing them to see a broader range of wavelengths, including the infrared spectrum. This heightened vision gives them an unparalleled advantage in spotting prey or predators. The deep sea dragonfish isn't all that large, at around 6 inches long, but it's a true showcase of nature's incredible and terrifying ability to innovate in response to the most challenging of conditions. If you'd like to learn more about what lives beneath the ocean's waves, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell to be informed when the next video is released.